Philips cordless ultrasonic toothbrush can have a problem with the outer rubber switch cover where it becomes compressed and does not expand after being pressed and compressed too hardly so that the entire toothbrush mechanism seems faulty and will not run. A fix for this is to open up the toothbrush by pressing out the mechanical core from the upper end by removing the toothbrush and pressing on the metal toothbrush mount to slide the metal core out the bottom. This will release a lot of dirt, but then you get a chance to see what the mechanical core is looks like and if you can troubleshoot it. First thing, press your switch to see whether your toothbrush works. This is the inside of a Philips cordless ultrasonic toothbrush. Push it out through this top hole on the toothbrush now after removing the toothbrush. You don't try and pry it from the bottom, although that will loose it up. You can put a screwdriver in there when the hole is new. There's usually two extension slots to either side of the power supply locating recess, but that'll just uh, break everything to a sort of messy oval hole. There's a lot of uh, fine greasy dirt on the inside when you're opened and uh, just rinse that out. A possible problem with these configuration of brush is that the features of the rubber cover can become very compressed so that the switch does not operate because um, the little extension on the inside has become compacted and compressed so that it's flat and it's not engaging the switch. So, you can see the battery of the mechanical core and all the features. It's a good idea if you're having problems with your brush. After reinstalling the toothbrush handle, the switch would not engage with the handle back on by pressing the switch rubber. So I unfolded a paper clip, used the extended end of a paper clip to engage the switch. It worked and it gave me an idea of how long a pusher rod I needed to engage the switch through the rubber. It was about six millimeters. I got the idea to use a thumbtack as a push in place toothbrush switch. So I measured out about six millimeters to the end of the cap, snapped off the point with some nippers and sanded it down with a sandpaper nail file and then I had to push it through the rubber, made a raised button, 